And the new Kwame Nkrumah Circle Interchange has undoubtedly lifted the image of Accra. However, landscaping beneath the edifice has been left at the mercy of pedestrians and hawkers. The engineers shifted the responsibility to the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, whose public relations officer has denied knowledge of any land beautification work in the area. Our reporter is Odilia Ajiman Prempe. By Monday, November 14, this interchange, the first of its kind in Ghana, would be opened to traffic by the President John Dramani Mahama. The interchange with the accompany Kwame Nkrumah Enclave, beside it, would make one of the best side attractions in the capital undoubtedly. However, one aspect that perhaps would make the entire project absolute is landscaping. A large area of idle land space has been created under the interchange, which in the wisdom of the project implementers, must be carefully designed. They explained it would ensure that the area does not become free for all passage and notorious hawking activities. Yet, the green grass and flowers carefully planted beneath and within the spaces around the interchange lacked the needed protection. Apart from the construction tapes and nets around the planted area, there is no permanent fencing to keep the notorious hawkers and pedestrians at bay. Despite the presence of warden assistants, pedestrians are forcing their way through. Chief resident engineer of the project, Kweku Diafo, first upheld the attitude of Ghanaians. It's sad that we have people not obeying our own laws and structures that we have put in place. Uh, over the years, we've known the Quarant Kuma Circle has been a very difficult place to manage. Um, and human behavior is very difficult to manage. Um, education has gone on, a lot of things have been said before. And that is the reason why we put, as part of this project, a police post. He also blamed the situation on the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. There will be some kind of uh, barrier that we put in place around the green areas. So people cannot easily walk, so that the design areas will be well defined for them to walk through. Even though the public relations officer of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Numo Blafo, denied knowledge of any such landscaping in the area, a number of the Assembly's warning posts dotted the area. Other areas beautifully paved are also left at the mercy of the ever-growing hawkers. So we asked, whose duty would it be to ensure sanity in the area when the project is finally open to traffic by the president? And would hawking activities in the area be curtailed after? Only time will tell.